Welcome back to another awesome episode of FTN Transformers on YouTube. I'm your host for Mondays, Michael, but it is actually a Tuesday. Um, I the weekend messed me up because we didn't have school tomorrow or anything, so I was like, oh, it's the weekend, it's Sunday. So I thought today was Monday and I almost missed my class, but that's okay. But I'm here now, so yeah. If you didn't know, this week's topic is pride. Meaning, like, if we have trans pride, if we have pride in calling ourselves trans. This is a weird topic for me because I'm not quite sure, really. Like, I'm stealth, so I'm not, like, prideful in that aspect. Like, I don't have, like, trans stickers on places or on my car or on my Facebook. I'm not, like, like, I'm still an advocate, but I'm not, like, I'm a member of the trans community, you know. I would have to say that I'm not proud, actually, because, like, I wouldn't want this kind of life for anyone else, really. It's really hard and really unfair to the person, and, like, you know, you just have these struggles every single day to try and be you and to somehow prove to other people because they don't accept you that you are who you say you are, and it's just so much, like, depression and dysphoria with it that... I'm not proud about any of those things. I'm not proud about things that I've done to try and alleviate myself those things, like hurting myself or, you know, lashing out at others or, you know, just stuff like that. The only pride I do have would be, like, that I've overcome a lot of my dysphoria and depression and stuff like that. As of right now, I'm not a proud trans man. And I think that's because I'm still um, in my transitional phase. I'm not, I haven't even really started it. I've only socially transitioned, so... I think once I like finally medically transition and I have like top surgery and I've been on T for a while and like everyone without a shadow of a doubt just automatically accepts me as male and I'm like yes I'm Michael, I am this guy and you should just accept me because I'm a guy like once I get to that point where everyone just accepts me and doesn't question me at all but yeah right now definitely I don't have like that sort of pride so Maybe later when after I'm, everything's done and everything's settled and everything, then I'll start wearing, you know, trans pride flags and participating in, like, you know, trans events openly and being like, yes, as a trans man, like, this is what I think and this is how I think it should be. Versus just like, well, I know lots of people in, like, the LGBTQ community, like, this and yada, yada, yada. I think the main reason is that I'm still scared right now. I'm scared that if I'm too pride, proudful, then, you know, it, like, leaves me open to more threats and stuff like that and more like discrimination and harassment stuff that I don't really want to deal with right now, especially being at university, so that's probably part of it, um, that I want to keep myself safe while still advocating for the community. But yeah, like this whole, whether I have pride in myself specifically for being trans is like very difficult for me. and. Um, trying to decide, you know, how to show it and when is the appropriate time to do that and stuff like that. It's, like, hard for me. Um, but yeah, it'll probably be more prideful later on in life instead of right now where I'm still, like, trying things out and, like, you know, advocating for everyone in general, you know. But yeah, I think that's all I have for you guys this week. Um, make sure to like, subscribe, share, comment, all that good jazz. We will subscribe back to you if you're openly, if you have your viewers of your subscriptions openly viewable. Um, and on Tumblr and everything else, Instagram, all that other stuff. Um, and have a nice week, and good luck at school. Stay beautiful.